Good morning, this is Bill from Auto Europa Naples and today the lawn guy's at bay. He's down near the end of the street so we have just kind of a quiet hum from his Toro, which is fine. Uh, a little bit earlier the weed whacker was about 10 feet from the phone and it was pretty, it was pretty obnoxious. Uh, anyway, what I have today is a car that's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, this is a 2013 Volkswagen Jetta Sport Wagon TDI. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's a great car. Uh, you know, a little while ago, maybe, yeah, I don't know, seven, eight months ago, we had a little storm blow through here called uh, Irma. It was a bit of a hurricane. Uh, on a side note, they used to name hurricanes exclusively after women because they were destructive and unpredictable. Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. That's, that's the way that I hear it. And of course, uh, women's groups have lobbied and now, uh, you know, hurricanes are named after men as well. Uh, the story goes on from there, but uh, we'll just leave that where it is. Anyway, the storm blew through. It was pretty nasty, you know. You turn on CNN, Anderson Cooper's talking about the end of civilization as we know it. Uh, you know, everybody better get the hell out of Dodge. The thing's hovering around a Cat 4, maybe a Cat 5. And uh, I think, you know what, the hell with it. I'm usually one of these guys who plants his flag and stays put, but this time I'm gonna get the hell out of Dodge. I could use a little trip anyway. So on the lot, we had a 2015 Golf TDI wagon, which is essentially the same car as this. Uh, you know, it went from being a Jetta to a Golf, but I believe the dimensions, the car, everything is pretty much the same. And I, you know, filled the thing up with diesel, got two jerry cans, five gallons of diesel, put them in the back, hopped in the thing, and we drove from Naples, Florida to Eufaula, Alabama, beautiful metropolitan Eufaula. Uh, you know, averaging 50 miles to the gallon. I think I dipped into one of the five gallon jugs. I don't remember. Uh, either way, we got all the way out of Florida, which is a pretty long state, on one tank full of gas, breezing by gas lines, and just feeling like a million bucks. And that thing just became the champion of my heart. I absolutely loved it, even regretted selling it. So uh, when this thing was running through the sale a couple weeks ago, uh, you know, it's a little bit miley. It is a one owner mint car, but I thought, oh my God, I love it. I've got to have it. And here it is. So uh, it's finished in moonbeam silver metallic. I, I don't know what it is with the Germans. They're always calling their silver, their gold colors silver. But uh, it is, you know, essentially like a very light uh, platinum bronze. It certainly isn't silver, uh, but it's a very attractive color and that's a good thing. Uh, to me, this is just like the perfect little wagon. Uh, you know, it's the brainchild, it was driven by Ferdinand Pike. He's sort of that famous uh, Porsche jerk off. I've been told about my language. It's not the word I want to use. Porsche, I say Volkswagen, but he's the grandson of Ferry Porsche and uh, you know, came up through Porsche, incredible executive, uh, and, and has a reputation as a bit of a jerk. In fact, uh, you know, he had this little diesel thing going where the engineers and, uh, you know, mechanics and all the people he had on his staff were so terrified of him, so terrified of losing their job, that they actually fudged the computer to mess with the EPA numbers uh, to uh, make his cars fly. And uh, they built a fantastic little car as a result. Uh, you know, it did cost Volkswagen quite a bit of money and became quite a global scandal. But uh, as a testament to Ferdinand Pike, this car is fantastic. And it's not just the diesel, not just the way it goes down the road, not just the fuel mileage. It's the fit and finish, the body seams, the body lines. Everything about this car is so incredibly well made and such a joy to own. Uh, you know, I, I'm on the edge of buying this thing myself and uh, just having it around the house as a sort of a mini estate wagon. Anyway, let's have a look inside. You can just feel the fit, finish, and quality in every part of this thing. And again, that's just Ferdinand Pike scaring the living crap out of everybody about their jobs. Uh, you can see it's got these uh, accessory all-weather mats, very nice stuff. It's black inside, which is a perfect color for a useful wagon, so nothing, you know, shows too much dirt. You got all kinds of great little nooks and crannies under here. You got a little place to store things. You got little pockets on the side. You got another pocket over there. Those seats fold down. There's also a pass-through for long cargo, and uh, everything just lovely back there. And look under the hood so these vw diesels before they you know became whatever it is they became and i have to admit i feel a little bit like a uh, 
like an outlaw driving this car, you know? It's, forget the big black Chevy. I got a Volkswagen TDI. Anyway, what fantastic motors. This thing, again, I, real life results from me returned 50 miles to the gallon heading to Alabama. Uh, it's two liters, it's 200 horsepower, very, very peppy. Uh, just a fantastic four cylinder diesel in this car. And uh, it's made better being made at uh, Volkswagen's uh, incredible uh, DSG uh, double clutch automatic transmission. Terrific engine, terrific drivetrain. Love it. Have a look in the back seats. I like the big roof rails, the panoramic roof this one has. Ah, uh, I just really like this little wagon. All right, in the back, everything mint, very utilitarian, black, perfect. Room for three adults, no problem. Beautiful fit and finish on the door panels. Again, remember, these people feared for their jobs, if not their lives, who had to put this stuff together. So uh, they really came up with uh, a fantastic quality of build. Look up front. Again, very nice supportive seats. Volkswagen's always made really comfy seats. Uh, got airbags everywhere. Again, I like the uh, carbon fiber look inserts, the nice fit and finish, the quality. You got your power windows, locks, trunk release, and uh, everything very proper in here. Let's sit in and fire it up. Your seat belt on. A couple of guys afraid of heart attacks going out for a walk. All right, so you see we glow plug just for a split second. Cranks right to life. It's very quiet for a diesel, but you still get that satisfying diesel rumble. Uh, very nicely laid out instrument cluster. You can see you've got your uh, TAC, 5,000 RPM. That's pretty good for a diesel. Uh, you got your uh, water temp. You got a fuel gauge, which I tell you moves so tiny you can barely see it. 160 mile an hour speedo, which is probably a little ambitious. Got your headlamps here. Again, beautiful fit and finish, quality of materials on the dashboard. Uh, everything is just so well put together. Very nice multifunction wheel, uh, VW badge facing you. Uh, here's that great uh, DSG shifter. If you want to use it tiptronically, you go over to the right and you can sort of ham your way through the gears. Not much point of that. Uh, over here, you got a rear view mirror. You got this uh, beautiful big panoramic roof with a shade. Let the night sky in. And uh, let's see what we got in here. We got books, we got a touch up pen, wheel locks, lovely. Uh, VW's uh, in dash infotainment that gives your AM, FM, your satellite radio, uh, Bluetooth, uh, you know, all very nice. You've got a CD slot here and a memory card there. Uh, climate control, heated seats, nice cold AC, good heat, great heated seats in a Volkswagen. These things will. Uh, you know, they'll cook popcorn if you leave it on there. Well, probably not, but it's pretty damn hot. All these great little compartments. There's a 12-volt outlet. And again, the way it all works, the way it all feels, the way it went together, fantastic. A little auxiliary input. Here's your uh, media in for the, uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Probably some kind of iPod connector. Nice. And, uh, you know, just everything really well put together. Let's go for a spin. Again, I don't know what it is about these cars, but I just love driving them. I feel like such a good citizen, uh, you know, even with this outlaw reputation for the uh, for the diesel emissions, you know. So, yeah, okay, I'm wearing the leather jacket. I got the switchblade. But uh, other than that, I just feel like a lovely member of society. I'm returning fantastic gas mileage. I've got the rear seats folded down. I probably just bought a grill at Home Depot and it fits in my little wagon. At the size of that mower. Good God, he's like made by Caterpillar. Uh, and it just drives so nice. You know, the diesels of old were smoky, slow, rickety. Listen to this thing. <laughs> I got wheel spin. I mean, it has torque. Uh, it gets up and moves uh, very, very well for a uh, diesel powered car. Uh, it's light, it's nimble, it handles incredibly well, the brakes are terrific, and you can put hundreds of thousands of miles on this thing uh, very, very reliably because, again, it was engineered or spearheaded by an absolute tyrant and madman who demanded heads on pikes if the cars weren't what they were supposed to be. 
Look at this guy, he's just gonna come right into us. Uh, so anyway, you can benefit from the incredible misery of the uh, Volkswagen engineers. You can get one of the finest made uh, economical wagons in world history. And uh, you can be a bit of an outlaw with all your emission stuff. So uh, if you have an interest, 2013 Jetta Sport Wagon TDI Diesel, uh, just a wonderful, wonderful car. Uh, give us a call, 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.